Good morning, everybody. This is take two by soon to be X phone. <laughs> Timed out on me at nine minutes. It shut off. And I've got it set on don't shut the screen down, down past 15 minutes. So I guess I yak too much. Let's get right into it. This is one of the shorter letters of Paul, Titus, three chapters. If you follow me in the Word, open your Word to Titus, the third chapter. It's all here. It's all here what it's all about. And it's about love. It's about being born of the Spirit, hope of an inheritance, and what we are empowered to do by the Holy Spirit and the Word and the authority in His name is to preach, teach, Good doings, speaking truth, and I believe it's 425 of Ephesians, speaking truth with your neighbor is the number one good doing, which we should be doing today. We can live a life, we can be a witness, we can befriend our neighbor or anyone, befriend anyone. Sometimes people, they call it aura, can be the generating spirit of the Holy Spirit. They look at you as if they see something, an angel behind you, whatever. I don't worship angels, but there are messengers, there are angels. And they are protection to us, the elect, called, chosen, and placed to do the will of God in our lifetime. So he has special ones. But then there are those who can come to salvation, have their name written in the book of life, and have the hope of eternal life, and never perform one thing or five things of ten things. I just use the general number of ten. I believe you're given ten opportunities to do the will of God in your lifetime. Some of us only accomplish five, and you'll be rewarded for those in the future, but God's looking for the ones who'll stay busy, even into their later life. Have you ever asked yourself, I think I have a couple students and friends that are still searching for the will of God in their life. They're very intelligent people, have spent time, money, and energy, and still don't know what God wants from them. Well, here it is. Here's what he wants from you. Titus 3.5 said all that in two minutes. But after the kindness and love of God, our Savior Yeshua, towards men appeared. That was Messiah Christ, the sent anointed Son of God. That's who appeared. Not by works of right or righteousness, which we have done, but according to His mercy, He saved us. Mercy takes His place between grace and peace in the last letters of Paul and one of the letters of John, 2 John, I believe. Mercy takes its place. The mercy seat, the precious human body and the precious human shed blood once for all forever went into the mercy seat. And the new covenant was released in a greater way. Grace, mercy, and peace. Now, today, the new, the second is better. I am the now new second teacher preacher, anointed teacher. Uh, middle of verse 5. By the washing, what is the washing? It's not John the Baptist, wet water, H2O, baptism to Israel. The Lord's washing is spiritual, inward, without hands. The washing is regeneration, the renewing of the Holy Spirit, one truth word, spirit word, truth word. And in Ephesians 4.25, the number one good doing is speaking truth with your neighbor. Let me repeat that. Ask any preacher and see if he freezes in his tracks. What's the number one good doing? And we're not talking about Faith and works that James preached and taught in the letter of James. What is the number one good doing? And it's done without hands. 
speaking truth with all people around you, speaking truth with your neighbor that edifies and builds up. He can trust you to speak truth to him. Verse 6, which he hath shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, Lord, our Savior, Shua, Yahshua, Savior, Redeemer, Deliverer, Reconciler. We're in the ministry of reconciliation, thoroughly changed, renewed and regenerated, back, brought back to the undisobedient state before Adam and Eve disobeyed God's commandment and took of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Back to the beginning state where God said, let there be light, and the light was good, and he divided the light from the darkness. And darkness comprehends not the will, the plan, the light, the good, the truth of God. Verse 8. Oh, no, verse 7. That being justified by his grace, mercy, grace, mercy, five, two H's in the sacred name of God, fifth letter of the Hebrew alphabet, H, fifth letter, got a added to Abra, Abram and Abraham to Sarai and Sarah. They had the grace, the favor, and the mercy of God upon them. Verse 7 again, that being justified by his grace, we should be heirs, inheritance, join heirs with Christ. According to the hope, do you know your hope? That was the one in the first teaching I couldn't remember. All right, the name... Uh, do you, have you learned Christ? Can you teach Christ? Do you know the mysteries? Do you know your hope and calling in glory? All right. The hope of eternal life. Last four words of verse 7. This is a, it says faithful in King James, but it's actually, this is a faith in. In what? In Christ. Go preach and teach everything that I taught you, all my words, all my testimony, all my witness to truth. Preach it and teach it. And have faith in, in Christ anointing, born seal of the Holy Spirit, born of the Holy Spirit of truth. Love, light, and truth. And don't forget the truth. The Holy Spirit of truth, and don't forget the truth. I read on. Seven minutes. We're doing good. Verse 8 again. This is a faith in saying, and these things I will that thou confirm constantly that they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain not good works King James says but the number one good doing Ephesians 4.25 read it for yourself these things are good and profitable unto men people around you your neighbors that you're to speak truth to be ready for any good doing in times of catastrophe or whatever. When you can help somebody, give them a little money to get through four days to their government check. Practice the principle of giving and see if you can outgive God. You give 10 or 20 percent and see if he doesn't better that to you. And when he does better it to you, take off the top of that. All of that's his. Take off the top of that at least 10% and give it away to somebody in need. Love you. Spirit Truth Teacher. The short letters have a lot of spiritual power in them. A lot of spiritual answers. God wants you to preach and teach His Word to your neighbor and your friends. That's where you start when you're trying to figure out the will of God for you and your life. I love you. Be Eugene Bear, spirit teacher, truth teacher.